Welcome back to the Mansion Poker .com. Poker Dump Challenge. Two players remaining here. We started the day with 300,000 chips spread amongst six players. Right now, Tim Jeffrey with 151,000 of those chips. And Keith Hubbard with 149,000. Well, it's interesting. With no limit before and after the flop, this thing could end in one hand, or we could be here for hours and hours. And we mentioned earlier, in head-to-head -head competition last week, I'll rise the ball. It took 21 hands to decide a winner. Ball. And it was very similar to this. The blinds were a little, they started off a little bit higher, but there was the same back and forth, back and forth to it. Call. Hubbard with the king four. Check. Well, Hubbard could have possibly raised. He figures to have the best hand. Jeffrey has caught a pair, however. Ball. Makes a very nice bet here. He's going to find out whether or not Hubbard has any of that immediately. Ball. Hubbard says, no, nope, not going to get involved here. Now with the blinds raising up to five and 10,000 chips, it's going to be more important to raise pre-flop rather than looking oh. in. A little bit less play to it. This could be interesting here. Jack-10 suited for Hubbard, ace four for Jeffrey. So we do have a little competition here now. Oh. We do. As high as the blinds are right now, I believe most pros in Jeffrey's position would have re-raised Hubbard here and put the decision back on him. Queen 10, that catches Hubbard. I the pot. It's just about a perfect flop for Hubbard. He can't be too scared of a queen here. Unless, of course, he gets check raised, but that's not going to happen. Can they stay up? Nope, Jeffrey's got oh, he, full he to fold in before I had to put him on. <laughs> and once again, that's going to get things very close to even. 159 to 141. Hubbard now, the chip leader. Add in Hubbard. Exactly. Ten. I call. Hubbard, Hubbard's yeah. getting some good cards here. He is getting some good cards. Anything queen seven or better is considered good cards heads up. Uh-oh. Yeah, this could get Jeffrey yeah. in a heap of trouble. Uh-oh. Looks like Jeffrey may be trying for a check raise, right. 60. but it could be a check out. Nope, he's going to raise. I'm all in. Hubbard says, I'm all in. Is this the spot that Jeffrey wants to risk it? Well, he's got a lot of chips committed here. Anytime you flop top pair oh. heads up, it can be very difficult to get away from. He called. So if Hubbard wins, right. it's over. Oh, it. Jeffrey wins, <laughs> Hubbard is clinging up. to life. <laughs> well, Jeffrey is drawing to a four. It's a ten. A four is the only card that's going to do it for him. He needs a four, and he needs a four now. Didn't get it. And it Hubbard cover. is going to win. $25,000 worth. Well, it was very well played from beginning to end, not only by these two, but by all six, I thought, Mike. Absolutely. It was a very, very well played table. Everybody seemed to have a very nice feel for the game. I, I think Hubbard is stunned, honestly. I think he's too stunned to be excited. Yep. <laughs> well, would you like to be standing where Keith Hubbard is standing right now? You can. You can be a part of the most exhilarating and breathtaking poker series ever. Every week, six lucky players get flown out here to Las Vegas, and they get a chance to compete inside the Poker Dome. We'd love to welcome you to the game. Log on to MansionPoker.com, and you can earn a shot at $1 million, just like our winner, Keith Hubbard, did tonight. There is the agony of defeat, and there is, of course, the thrill of victory. 
and the victor is with Nafisa De Florius. Thanks, Barry. Keith, when you started head-to-head -head play, you were down almost two to one. What was your strategy to end up walking away with it all? Well, I knew that uh, my opponent was going to be raising a lot. Like I, I put him on that kind of player before we got to heads up that he was aggressive and he was going to make a stab at almost any pot. So I pretty much waited till I got a good hand and I knew I could call him. I knew I could raise him. And when it got to heads up, I just got a lot more aggressive that I knew that I could take him down. Once it got to heads up, that I was pretty sure of that. Keith, we're going to see you back here in two weeks playing for $50,000 and a shot at that million. How are you feeling about that? Uh, that's pretty amazing, actually. Uh, the way I got into this tournament, when the satellite and the qualifier, and they're all free rolls on, on MansionPoker.net, so it's basically fantastic. You know, I get to come back to Vegas twice, stay in a luxury hotel. It's, you can't go wrong. Like, this is amazing. Like, the feeling right now is it's incredible. Well, apparently you can't go wrong, and you have a big check to prove it. Barry, back up to you. Well, we started this program by talking about what an international table our fifth qualifier will be, and we add to it tonight. Now there's an American, a Canadian, an Aussie, a Scot, and a Brit. Who will fill the sixth and final seat? It's a wrap for us for tonight. For my partners, Michael Grotz and Nafisa DeFlorius, I'm Barry Tompkins. See you next week.